Hello everybody and welcome back to Birthdays of Beginnings. Now we are doing a dino challenge today and that is because I am busy preparing for the new cube. So we've got all sorts of cool stuff coming like a hopefully a little time lapse if I can get it to work of all of the stuff I've done to build this new cube. It's built now, I've done it. I've just got to get it all sorted out for you so you can see it. So that's why we're going to be doing a dino challenge today because they're quick and easy to do assuming that I can actually get them to work. We'll see. The first two were easy. I think this will be a bit harder. So Navi's saying, welcome to the Dino Challenge. Tell me your name. And as usual, my name is Sheila. Not sure how you do that with just a controller. It's so weird, this whole keyboard mouse combination. It's only partial controller support just because you have to type your name there's no keyboard on here it's crazy huh is that okay yes right here are the details of the challenge your objective is to capture tyrannosaurus and we do already have stegosaurus so that's good the cube size is mini at this stage of life dinosaurs are currently multiplying so they're all happy in their little house however tyrannosaurus has not been birthed the cube in this challenge will undergo temperature changes at triple the normal rate. Even a minor change in the terrain can drastically alter the temperature, so be careful. Alright, let the challenge begin. Okay, so number one thing that I always do, where that mouse, is to go and have a quick look at what Tyrannosaurus wants. What do you want, Tyrannosaurus? Looks like I've got my, uh, my library all still filled in. Actually, that doesn't look like my library. It looks like a library they've given me. But uh, let's have a look in the tree. Oh, I see. So they've decided which dinosaurs have been birthed, I think. So we're wanting Tyrannosaur. Who wants um, a temperature of about 41 to 51 degrees to birth. And it's okay once that's... Yeah, okay. Velociraptor, I think, is around. Um, it appeared in very hot climates as Plesiosaurus was propagating. So we need to make sure that Plesiosaurus, there's enough of them. Now they want the sea to be between 40 and 50 degrees to, to be happy. And these guys want 41 to be happy. So fairly in line with each other. So we'll go and see what we can do. And let's have a look at this cube. So we've got a Brachiosaurus for the looks of it. You're a Brachiosaurus, right? I can ride you, yay! I know, um, okay. So it looks like the cube temperature is due to go up to like 60 degrees, which is going to be way too warm. Can't use any items. And we also can't... No, it is 46 here already, and the sea needs to be about 50, and it's 47 in the sea, 46 on land, that's fine. So if we aim for about 40 degrees, so we're going to make need to make this place a bit cooler. Definitely. So to do that, we need to raise the land. Now, apparently... Raising the land should increase my cursor size and increase it some more if I can. Is that the maximum it'll go to? Yeah. So we'll just do a bit of temperature adjustment here. But actually, they're saying, "Oh, be so careful because the temperature adjusts really easily." But it's always keeping an eye on what the temperature is. It's actually kind of useful on a tiny little map like this. Because you don't want to change too much of the terrain. Okay, now we're going for 39. I want to be a little warmer than that. 42. 
Okay, that's a two degree temperature change. We need to make the mouse, uh, the cursor a bit smaller. Uh, let's just do maybe about that. Just raise it a little bit. 41, so that's what I've, I think we need to be headed for. Plesiosaur uh, might not have enough room. We might need to make even more changes to the land, make it even higher so that I can make a bit more sea for them to live in. But we'll see how they do. What I'm looking for is the population and I need to really keep an eye on the temperature as well. Right, so I want population growth within the plesiosaur tree. Um, so let's see how many we have at the moment of them. We have 24,393. So I want to see that going up. So let's go and uh, make time go for a little bit. And we'll see what happens. So we're looking for an increase in the plesiosaur population. So Velociraptor got uh, birthed. A ton of stuff got birthed. But the temperature hopefully should start coming down a little bit because it's a bit too hot for them at the moment. But I seem to remember it being a bit too hot before. Okay, I'm not too keen on fast forwarding it. I want to really keep an eye on what's going on. It's not really telling me what's happening to the Pleosaur population. So I'm going to use my library again. It's probably Plesiosaur or something, isn't it? I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but anyway. Uh, all the snakes and things like that. They're still at 24,000. Okay. I have this horrible feeling. I will try for a little longer. See if they'll... See if the temperature... We'll get the temperature down, shall we? We'll, we'll fast forward it enough to bring the temperature down. And see if the pleosaurs start. Brachiosaurus is on the verge of extinction at this point in time. As is Triceratops. I don't know why. Okay, so we've just lost Stegosaurus. I think the pleosaur is the only one that really matters once it's birthed. I think that and Velociraptor, they matter. Right, I want to see what the population is on them again. 25,000. Okay. That seems good. Fast forward a little bit more. I don't know whether I should be trying to expand their little bit of sea they're living in. A lot of things going up and down. Let's see. Because I, I worry that they're bottlenecked. 24 again. Yeah, so it's really hard to get them. Right, let's go and change the conditions around here. So, what we want to do is get a nice big cursor and give them more room. So they like this level, they like it a lot, so we're going to take away some of the land, a little bit of the land to make them a better place to, to live. What level is this? Is it deep sea? It's just sea. They seem to just like to be in the sea, but not in the deep sea. So one thing I could do is take away the deep sea. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to hold my trigger so that we give them a bit more room without messing too much with the land, with the, uh, sorry, the level of the sea there. So we're going to make this all the right level for them. I'm just going to check that it is sea that they want. Hang on. And then we'll even the temperature out. Yeah, they like the sea. And the sea has to be at 40 to 50 degrees. And the sea here is exactly 40 degrees, so it's on the cool end of what they like. That's a velociraptor in the sea. Hopefully he'll move. 
Oh. Wasn't what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do is that. Bring everything up. Give them more room to be plesiosaurs. So you don't need any of this rubbish down here. So that's the thing, that must be what the challenge is all about, that you've got to do a lot of changes to the environment um, to give these guys room to grow. And by doing that, oh, a bit too far, you drastically change the temperature because the temperature is meant to be like a very specific type of temperature. And uh, so these guys can live around here as well. That's still C. Minus four. Shallows is a minus three. So the shallows could come down. Yeah, the shallows can all come down. And then they'll have more room to be. Bless your sores. So let's get everything down to like four, uh, da, 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 level four basically because you know they're already existing on level four so I think level four is a good place for them to be okay this is all level threes and twos and stuff so we'll make all this level four level four no not that bit this bit so the whole bit around there is now all the sort of level 4 sea level that they really like. Uh, to be honest, that's called the cube, so that gives us a little bit of wiggle room to bring some of the land down into the sea. Oops. Need to hold my trigger so that it all stays the right level. And not overshoot as well. Same here. Just keeping these guys happy seems to be the. Oh no, there's a big hole there. Let's bring that up. Oh no! Okay, well we best ran out of ran out of juice. So what we need to do is quickly start time enough to give us some juice because the temperature is going to go up pretty quickly. Okay, Colocanthus went extinct. Right, we have have our have our stuff back now. Right, okay. So it's gonna go for 49 degrees. But I'm gonna bring this up, which would make it a bit cooler. have to just raise the mountain a little bit and make it cooler that way as well. Forty-two. Let's make the cursor smaller. It is quite difficult with these uh, increased changes in temperature actually. But then you're on quite a small cube so as I say you're not making as many changes. Okay so we're back to our 41 degree level. Which is apparently what the Tyrannosaur wants. I don't know, maybe he wants it a bit hotter. Let's have a look. Tyrannosaur birthing temperature, 41 to 51. Yeah, so you could actually maybe have it a little bit in the high 40s. Might help. So we lost Stegosaurus at this point. I don't know if Stegosaurus needs to be alive. I think Stegosaurus needs to be alive. Still got a plesiosaur though. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ramp up the temperature just a little bit. Because going for the lowest isn't necessarily right. Let's go for 40, 45, 47. Let's lower all this. Let's go for 47 and see what happens there. And we've got a little bit more space for the plesiosaur as well, so... That's something. 
start timer, we'll see what happens there. Not a lot. Well, a few things are popping their head up now. Stegosaurus is back. Yay. So we did need it a little bit hotter because the stegs uh, don't like it that cold. So now I need to wait for them to propagate. Dinoceratops. What's a dinoceratops? I want to know what that actually is because I don't even know if I've got that on mine. Oh, I did. That's the meat eating one. I had that before. I know what that is. That's fine. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the plesiosaur population and see if that's uh, doing well at the moment, if the changes I've made. No, there's less of them. Good grief. How are there less of you? You like the temperature. You like being in the sea. Appeared as Eoraptor and Stegosaurus were propagating. Oh right, so it maybe doesn't like the fact that there's not enough Stegosaurus and Eoraptors. Let's see how many Eoraptors there are. Eoraptor, 145,000. Stegosaurus has disappeared, so now there's 15,000. Right, well, I'll let time go a little bit. And once we've done that, I'm sure I can beat this in a better time. What I'm hoping to see is Stegosaurus is getting more prevalent. I made more room for everyone. Oh, we birthed Tyrannosaur straight away. Hang on, but we must go and capture him. There we go, so that was us. Challenge done, 17 minutes. Well, that wasn't too hard, a little bit of fiddling around. Took a bit longer than I would have liked, but we did it. I reckon, I reckon I could do that quicker. Now I know, just head for 47 degrees and everything will just happen. And make the sea bigger for the police you saw. Be interesting to see. How did I like the challenge? Well then, see you next time. Let's work hard then too. Challenge clear. Woohoo! Okay, so now we have finished the Tyrannosaurus uh, map. I'm going to be going on to the Triceratops map straight away. Because this one here, I've just had a quick look at it, and it is requiring me to go all the way from Eoraptor all the way to Plesiosaurus. Uh, and I remember how long that took me in my cube, and I think that that's going to need its own episode, quite frankly. So let's go straight on to the birth of Triceratops and see if we can work this one out. It's on a smallish map, so that's always a good thing. Um, it says that uh, Diametrodon have already been birthed, so raising the temperature will lead to the era of dinosaurs. However, you cannot change the cube's terrain. It will be hard to raise the temperature. That's why use of global warming is important here. So let's have a look at this one, because that's the sort of map I haven't really had a look at before. When my, you can't do anything with the train. Just totally using items, so it looks quite interesting. Okay, so welcome to the Dino Challenge. Please tell me your name. Every time. I think you'd remember it by now. Here are the details of the challenge. Your objective is to capture Triceratops. The cube size is small. At this stage of life, Dimetrodon are currently multiplying. The cube is under zero T, which means you can't change the sea's terrain. You can move terrain to lower the temperature, but you cannot raise the temperature. Okay. Global warming is important here, but you have a limited supply. Make sure you use them wisely. Okay. All right, let the challenge begin. So let's start off with a plan, man. 
Um, so, what I would say is let's have a quick look in the tree. And go and find Triceratops and see exactly, and just work all the way back. See exactly what we need, have a plan of exactly what's going to happen. So. <sighs> Please do not tell me that I need to get that one. No, I don't think I do. Dinosaurs are different. We need to get Eoraptor. And then Eoraptor should allow us to get Triceratops via the Brachiosaur. Okay. So Dimetrodon, they like that 22 to 28 degree. Eoraptor likes 37 degrees. So we'll raise the temperature to, well, how high can you cope? Up to 41. So we'll go to straight to 40 degrees, I would say. Straight to 40. Then I think we want to go the Brachiosaurs, we're going to want 41. So then we'll maybe go to 42, maybe 45. Um, likes it very hot apparently. And then Triceratops is going to want the same. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's see, let's see what the cube's temperature is at the moment. So I apparently can't change the sea, but I can still raise the land. I don't know if just my lower setting has been disabled or what in this, to be honest. I don't really want to muck around with it too much, so let's see what we've got. A bunch of mountain raising tiles and we actually have 30 global warming so a limited amount is actually not really all that limited. So I'm going to start by raising the temperature with global warming. And we're wanting to aim for 40 degrees. Or as close as we can get. 39. Um, can Eoraptor spawn at 39? Let's have a look. So we're looking for Eoraptor. Eoraptor's fine after 37. So let's get some Eoraptors on the go first. So we'll go for 39 and we'll get some Eoraptors on the go and then we won't get rid of Dimetrodon until the Eoraptors have spawned. Because what we don't want to do is make it too hot for the Dimetrodon if the Eoraptor need them alive to spawn. I don't know, they might need them to be extinct to spawn. I don't think so because we had them at the same time in our last cube. Elrathia is extinct. Podium Fragile, okay. Golacanthus is changing. Come on, I know we're at Eoraptors. What other items do we have? Do we have anything like... I don't think we're allowed to use anything else other than the global warming. Really, not really, um, yeah. Let's just see what the Eoraptor actually needed again. Just check. Propagation of Dimetrodon. Right, so Dimetrodon actually needs to be a fairly high um, population. And they've only got like 3,000 of them. Darn it, it needs 28 degrees or lower. We should have waited for them to propagate a bit more before we raise the temperature. 
There's 28 and that can go... I mean, it's all right at this temperature. It ha it's not going to die out or anything, but I don't think it's really doing very well either. Fast forward it a bit and then we'll check their stats again. Okay. Check them again. 4,000. Okay, they are going up. That's fine. I'm happy just to wait then. Although I wonder whether I'm waiting longer than I should have had to. Oh, there's Eoraptor. Cool. And they're going up in number. So now we have Eoraptor. I just want to have a quick check on the temperature and everything. And I want to see what comes next in the tree. So we don't need to worry about you anymore. We've got our next thing. Which is Eoraptor. We need to go capture it really. And after that we're looking for the Brachiosaur. So we're now wanting a f the temperature to go up to over 41, but we still want those guys to be propagating, so we don't want it to go much more above 43. Um, Pteranodon propagated. Oh, okay, we need Pteranodon. I think Pteranodon's this one. So Eoraptor needs to propagate, and we need to stay between 37 and 47, so that 41 degree temperature would be ideal, I think. But we don't want to go much above 47. We don't really want to go much above 43 for those guys. 43. 41, 42 would be fine for everything, I think, from now on. So we want the Eoraptors to propagate, and then hopefully we will get one of these guys. Okay, cool. We'll head for 41. I'll use one more global warming. Hopefully that will raise it by two. And now it's raised it by two. Great, thanks. 42 will probably be okay. So let's go back out to the uh, cube and we'll see how that works out. So we're basically waiting for Pteranodon at this point. We'll speed it up a bit. Going up to 40 degrees at this point. Eoraptor isn't too happy about it, apparently. Oh, it's really not happy. Why is it so unhappy? Right, let's have a good look at... Because uh... Eoraptor needs to be propagating or these guys are not... Should be okay at 42. 200,000 population. So actually they have done better since I last checked on them, so that's okay. Um, okay, let's go and capture our Eoraptor. Wherever he is. Bunch of them over this way, I think. No, over this way. There's one. Bunch of other things to capture as well. Oh, I've got a level up. How nice. That only counts for this map, though. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, I better global cool it straight away. That was a waste. Luckily, they've given us plenty. I'm very bad at, at pressing the wrong buttons on this game. No one's fault but my own. Okay, that's cool. I got everything now. Let's go back before I can do any more damage. Not that I, you know, I can still do damage out here. Let's see. Bakaya? I think that's kind of something that should be showing up around now. Raptors going up. Great. That's what I want to see. 
and I'm hoping that the flyers will, will pop up soon. Oh, I'm going to run out of time. Come on, just give me one flyer. Just one. I wonder if I'm allowed to use a seed of mutation. Let's go see if I'm allowed to. Oh, there's a few sea creatures that have appeared. There's a Pakaya. They were definitely around in the cube at the same time as all the other stuff, so... I mean, it's giving me shinies, so if I can't use them, then what's the point in having them in the cube? Let's see what I'm allowed to use. Like, everything. I can use everything, so I may as well use every advantage because there's certainly no stipulation to say that you get less score if you don't if you use a seed of mutation so will seed of evolution no I'll use a seed of mutation on you and we'll see see if anything else cool appears It won't, it won't turn into what I need, because I need a seed of evolution for that, but hey, may as well use what I've got. There's something down here as well. What was that? Recovery leaf. Okay. Well, that's not going to help. We'll see if the seed of mutation helps with it, with anything. Oh, raptor. <laughs> he wasn't very happy. We just gotta wait, I think. I'm far too impatient. I think it might be a little bit too warm, actually. It's 43 in the cube. But then the flyer should be fine. Let's have a look how many here raptors we have. Still 241,000, so they're kind of going up, but not like hugely. And I think the temperature keeps just very slightly pipping over 43. Um, we don't need those guys to be alive anymore. Is there anyone else that minds it being? You need it to be 41 minimum. The flyers are the next thing to come, so they need it to be 37 to 47. So they'd be happy enough with it a couple of degrees cooler. I'm going to cool it down a little bit. Just to help the Eo Raptor. I don't think that they're, they're as happy with it being as hot as it is. So we'll just use one global cooling. Bring it down 2 degrees to 40. I think that they'll all be fine with that. Just try that for size. See if they're a bit happier. Here, up to it's going down. Oh, good. Oh no, it's up to 291,000. Okay, okay, good, oh, good. I don't know if there's a particular... I just want a flyer, I just need a flyer, okay? I should be able to get one. I don't remember them taking this long before though. Like we've nearly done a million cube years now. And Eo Raptor's just up and down, up and down. Are you making good progress? You have a lot of time left. So don't panic. <laughs> that's like that's like your time your 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 time is, is Running out, she lab. Well, it's not my fault that the the 
flyer won't spawn. Oh, I spawned before. Just not on this stupid map. Okay. Um, am I missing something? This was on a really varied map before. But I definitely need it. Emerges on the shore where it feeds on fish. That needs to be 3747. Height, moisture, they're all fine. Everything is fine. Ah. I don't know why Eoraptor isn't propagating more than it is, but all I can do is just keep going. It's really frustrating. Okay, check the moisture levels. Let's just check the moisture levels to see what they're like. 100% in the water, clearly, obviously. It was 88%, wasn't it? So you've got 60s and 50s and all sorts around here, so there should be plenty of places those flyers can, can come. How annoying. Let's see what else we get in the way of shinies. Loads of shinies! And there's some in the corner over there that I missed as well. Right, so... Seed of Evolution. Great, I'll use that on the Eoraptor and see what we get. force the issue a little bit because even if I get that I've got a four season mutation that I can use as well wait for him to stop okay so we've, we've evolutioned him now so let's get back out and see if that speeds things along a bit Yes, now all the dinosaurs have suddenly spawned. Yay, thank you so much. Including Plesiosaur. <laughs> but not Triceratops. Okay, let's see what we need for Triceratops. 45 degrees. That, that helped things quite a bit, didn't it? So we've got all these guys. Got the Brachiosaur, so now we just need... Forty, about 45 degrees in the middle of their birth temperature. And I don't think he needs anything else really. I'll just uh, raise the temperature a bit and we'll go capture the other animals. Whee! I think it's important to capture them as well, so you get the information and stuff. That's the back is all. Velociraptor. This guy. Sometimes you just need to force things. Ah, uh, we got someone over here. Plesiosaur. Fantastic. Okay, so now we just need to up the temperature with a little bit of global warming to around 45 degrees and we should have our Triceratops. Fingers crossed. Aha, 
Perfect. Right. Let's go. Hopefully Triceratops comes before we run out of time. 41. 42. They're all doing really well now, all these dinosaurs. Alrathia, Triceratops! See how, how easy that was once I had a mutation seed? <laughs> Took barely any time at all. Just goes to show. Cheats always prosper. Hello Sarah, nice to see you again. And that's it for us. A herbivorous dinosaur known for its prominent horns, it consumes shorter plants than Brachiosaurus. Congratulations on clearing the challenge. You successfully captured Triceratops. How did you like the challenge? Well, just getting the Brachiosaur to spawn seemed to be the, the real issue. I don't know why. See you next time. Let's work hard then too. Challenge clear. Okay, so now we have completed the um, challenge number five. I will go back next time and we'll do challenge number four, but it, it definitely had a much longer length to it. And I just had this feeling I was not gonna do it in time. Um, I didn't want to have a massively long episode and I do think that that's gonna possibly take me 45, 50 minutes to do. So we'll give it its own episode and we'll do that next time. But I hope you enjoyed maps three and five. If you did, then please leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more birthdays and beginnings, then uh, do please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.